Displacement is a technique that lets you deform an object, often a subdivision object, using a, a texture map or a procedural texture. In Lightway you can apply displacement to a mesh in different ways, and since obtain can read any Lightway deformation, well, you're going to be able to render any displacement, any lightweight displacement in Octane as well. So let's work out a little example. I'm going to create a box in Modeler and activate sub patches on it. Let's save the object. This cement plane. Okay. Now let's send it to layout. We can now press P to open the object properties panel. Let's select the deform tab and among the different ways we can choose to apply displacement in lightweight. There's this very simple one, which works on one axis in a very similar way to how any texture layer works. So what we can do is to select the procedural texture here, I'm going to use a turbulence. And as you can see, the plane is now deformed. We can of course, change the number of subdivisions of this object so we can better see the effect of the displacement. Since our object is just a simple plane, we can really increase the display sub patch level to something like 128 or even more. And now let's let's play with the texture. We can increase the frequencies and you can see the, the detail we're getting here from a simple plane. We can also set the contrast to something like 50% or, you know, work on the scale to make it look like mountains. We can also activate BPR, so we can see the shadows, or why not turn on the gradient and then global illumination. And take a look at the final result. No. So this is critical, a critical way to deform an object, and in this case, create ter terrains, but yeah, I want more detail. You can see you can reach a very high level of detail. Especially if we further increase the frequencies like this. We can, of course, turn off VPR and switch to Octane. Okay. And then open IPR. I'm going to change the camera angle. So in Octane we're seeing exactly what we see in the OpenGL view. This is very cool. There is no Octane light active. We can create one. We just have to wait for the scene to be reloaded going to do that so the situation the light situation is updated now we have this new octane light in the scene okay 
can rotate the light you can move it around and this is how it looks after signing a proper octane material to the mesh and decreasing the light intensity and disabling the environment that was light in the scene pretty cool very fast in the next video we'll take a look at how the octane internal displacement is working and how powerful it is thanks for watching